What you are looking at right now is the insights section of the Meta Business Suite. And in today's Meta Business Suite tutorial series, we're going to take you through the insights section and all the valuable information you can get out of it in order to make your social media content and advertising more effective. And a massive shout out to the legends at Macademy for allowing us to film today's video in their Meta Business Suite. You're to get started with using the insights section of the Meta Business Suite, we simply need to be logged into the homepage of the Meta Business Suite. From there, we need to navigate over to the left hand menu bar and you may already have the insights section set up on the left hand menu bar. Otherwise, click on all tools and type in the word insight until you see underneath analyze and report insights. From there, we want to click on the Insights section, and this is going to then take us through to the Overview section of the Insights of your Meta Business Suite information. So we can see here that we have got a couple of different things coming up. The first one is the total number of views, so that is people who have watched our video, and we can see the breakdown between followers and non-followers on the page. We can also see the total reach of our Facebook page and advertising posts from followers again and non-followers. If we scroll up to the top section and we go to the left hand menu bar, we can see that there is a results section. Now as a social media manager, as a business owner, or as a marketer, this is some of the most important and valuable information that you can have at your disposal. So we have got a timeline here over the last 28 days of the total views, the total reach, the total interactions, link clicks, visits, and follows for our social media page. So in this example, Macademy has achieved a total reach of 6,509. <coughs> It has gotten 14,378 views, it has had 110 link clicks and 84 visits. So what we need to just be mindful of is that if you want to have data that is spread out over a particular period of time, let's say you want to do it for the entire calendar year so far, you just go up to the top calendar bar and we click on the option that we want. So I've just selected this year and I've clicked on the blue update button. And we can now see our total reach for the entire year, which is looking quite impressive. So we're really happy with that so far. Now using the insights section is very important if you are a marketer or business owner because it allows you to see who your actual audience is that is engaging with your content, your videos, and your posts. So if I navigate over to the left-hand menu bar here and click on audience, we can see here that there are three different sections, the demographics of our page followers, uh, the trends, and also our potential audience as well. So if we click on potential audience here, we can see that a large chunk of that audience is between the women and the men, here in the target country which we have focused most of our attention on which is here in New Zealand and we can see that there is a big discrepancy here the largest potential audience is Auckland New Zealand with 29.4 percent followed in second and third place by Christchurch and Hamilton respectively so if we want to go into a little bit more detail and start filtering information down based on certain parameters, we can click on the blue filter button up at the top right hand section. So let's click on the filter button. We first need to enter the location we want to filter down into, which is New Zealand. From there, we select our target age demographic. Let's say we want to do between 35 and 63. Let's just leave the genders at all. I've also selected the target interest of business. If you want to select another one, just start typing in the interest you think people may have and select the option once it appears. Once I've done that, we want to click on create audience and let's just call this our test audience. 
And this is what our potential test audience may look like. I've narrowed the filters down a little bit more and we can see here our potential audience reach based on gender, the top towns and cities which they are in, and the top pages which they are most likely to be engaging with. So this provides some great information for us to use for future targeting. So we can see here that our people that we are wanting to go after that are interested in business have a strong connection to the New Zealand Herald in New Zealand, which is pretty relevant based on traveling to see customers, as well as Stuff, which is also another news website here in New Zealand, and go figure, the All Blacks as well. So we can use this information here in our future targeting to go after people that are going to be more likely to engage and positively receive the content which we are promoting. So remember this thing for your Facebook page as well. Enter in the interests, the age group that you're targeting, the location, and you can get some very valuable information that you can use to apply to your advertising as well as your social posts too when creating content. Now, now talking about content, let's head over to the overview section here in the content area. What this is now going to do is it will bring up a wealth of information for us and we can see all of the overviews for every piece of content which we have created in a set time period. I have selected the year to date and what I can see now is a full comprehensive breakdown of the top content based on views, the top content formats, the audience retention over a set period of time. And let's break down this information a little bit more. So first things we can see, we can have a breakdown between organic and ads and followers and non-followers. So let's just keep it as it is right now and look at what we have here. So we can see our posts and we can see the amount of engagement that's been generated by our uh, Facebook posts. We can see the live breakdown. We haven't done any lives yet, so there's no information available here. We can also see our total watch time on videos and the number of interactions that have been generated by it. So one thing that's quite impressive here is that from 36 interactions, we have generated over two hours of watch time. So that's very impressive. And if we go to this period here, we can see that there is a very high level of watch time and engagement. So it's important as a marketer and business owner to go back to this time period, look at the videos that have been created and see how you can either repurpose the content or create similar content and serve it to your audience. There's also the Reels section here as well, and we can see from 73 views, we've generated five minutes and 38 sections of watch time. Now you may be asking if we go to the All section, what's the top content based on the views? And this is the section for it right here. We can see here the total number of views and the engagement level, and if we, Click on the arrow which points to the side, we can see the top content that has been generated. If we want to break down that a little bit more, we just need to click on see all content. And what this is going to do is take us to the next section underneath the overview section. Now, what you can do here is you can begin filtering out the information. One thing that is great about this is we can see that we can divide up this content based on posts and stories. We can divide it up by photo posts, video posts, text, and links. We can also filter it by the organic channels or paid traffic as well. So this is such a valuable section because it allows you to comprehensively split up the video versus image posts, it allows you to see what the better performance has been based on the type of content you are showing to people, as well as how effective the posts have actually been in not only reaching people, but engaging with them as well. 
So that's a quick overview, everybody, on how to use the inside section of the Meta Business Suite to successfully get the information you need to create great content for your target audience. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button down below and consider subscribing for ongoing Meta Business Suite and marketing tutorial videos. Have a fantastic day, everybody.